We are now in Waterton Lakes National Park. This is in Canada. This is the Canadian side of Glacier National Park. And on our day here in Waterton, we are going to go on a boat ride. We're going to see grizzly bears. We're going to stay at the Prince of Wales Hotel that you can see behind me here and show you more things to do as well. So let's just first of all tell you about what Waterton Lakes is. So as I mentioned, this is kind of the Canadian side of Glacier National Park. These two parks are connected. They're called an international Peace Park. And they actually, the US Canadian border runs right down the middle of these two. And so this is something that you can add on to your Glacier National Park trip. It only took about an hour and a half, maybe two hours to get over here from many glacier. And now we're gonna spend our day here and show you some things to do. So the first thing to do is to visit this little park right here on the waterfront. This is called the International Peace Park, I think is what they call it. Uh, anyway, so what you can do here is just walk around the waterfront here. If you have some kids, you can go down and play in the beach area. There's some beautiful views of the mountains and the valley in this direction. You can see the Prince of Wales Hotel this direction. Um, this is also where the marina is for the boat rides, the scenic cruises. So we're gonna do a scenic cruise a little bit later. But um, just walk around here, and then you, from here you can head over to the little town of Waterton, which we're going to do next. Okay, the next thing to do is just to walk around the little town of Waterton. This is just a really small, pretty cute town that's located right along the waterfront here. It really only takes about five or ten minutes to walk from one end to the other. There is a nice walking path along the edge of the water here, along the shore, and, and then one thing that's kind of cool is in the middle of town, they have about a two block section for shopping and restaurants and stuff, and it's blocked off to car traffic. So that means it's really just a nice walking area, a place to see the little shops and do some window shopping and, and get a drink, get a bite to eat or something like that. Um, it's just a cute town. You've got the, the views of the mountains. You can see the lake behind me here with the valley in the distance there. So just take a minute to walk around and kind of enjoy the town. Next up is to do a little recreation. Um, right behind me is Pat's and they rent all sorts of fun things. You can see they've got some bikes for rent and something if you haven't ever done this before is they have surreys. Surreys are where they hook two bikes together and it looks like a little Flintstone car and you can drive around. My little caution about the Surreys is that they're actually pretty difficult to pedal around. They're really heavy and sometimes they're not really meant for people that are very tall. A lot of the men in that family are over six feet tall and they all bang their knees on the Surreys when we ride those around. But they also have other things for rent like regular bikes and e-bikes and there's some beautiful trails around here. The trail mostly goes along the road but you do have your own dedicated trail, which is really nice. The only little caveat we learned is that e-bikes aren't allowed on those designated trails, so, but you can ride them on the road and the roads aren't too crowded yet. They say in the morning is a good time if you're gonna ride an e-bike. And then they also rent things like paddle boards and kayaks and it's right across the street from the marina. So if you want a little bit of water adventure, you can rent one of those. All right, next up is Cameron Falls. This is really great low effort thing to do in Waterton. If you can get from your cart inside the grocery store, you can get to Cameron Falls and it's a really beautiful falls. The other nice thing about it is if you park this down by the marina, there's a nice pathway along the lake. You can walk on that'll help you get to this. And so you get a nice view of the lake and then you get a nice view of the falls. But if you don't want to do that walk, really, there's a parking lot so close to these falls. Next up is the Waterton Lakes Visitor Center behind me. So this little cute village of Waterton is actually part of the national park. It's unlike any other national park we have in the United States because these little villages are almost are always outside of the park, but Waterton includes this little village as well. But this visitor center behind me is one of the best visitor centers I've ever been to and definitely the best in the Waterton Glacier National Park system. What I liked about this visitor center is, well, obviously you can tell it's a little newer, but their exhibits were bright and colorful and really digestible. This is a great place for children, but I think even for us adults, we like entertaining exhibits and we like bright colors. And if there's something that we're more interested in, we can always get a book about it later. But they had these short little movies you can see as you walk through that are like three or four minutes long. So you just kind of walk through those. Many of the exhibits are interactive. There's screens that you can ask and answer questions on. There's also a fun animal scat exhibit that I know my kids would have loved where it has kind of 
bronze poop of different animals and then you can flip the thing over and it'll tell you what animal it is. So pretty fun. But one other thing that I liked about this exhibit is that they really focus on the changes that happen to national parks just on a regular basis. Of course, there's you know, land, land moves a little bit, but there's also these other bigger natural disasters like fires and floods and high winds that, that seem quite destructive to these national parks. But then they talk about the good things that come from like the pine beetle. That's one thing I've never seen celebrated. Everywhere you go, they talk about how devastating the pine beetle is, but the pine beetle helps cause more biodiversity when they take out the lodgepole pines that are overgrowing and then allow other species of plants to grow. So that's pretty cool. The last thing is, is there's a little walking path behind the visitor center where there's rocks for kids to climb on and statues of animals and their amphitheater looks amazing for their ranger program at 7.30. So I'm, I wanna come back tonight and see that. Today we are at the Prince of Wales Hotel and we scheduled an afternoon tea every day from 12 to four. Guests can come here and get afternoon tea. And this is really quite a delightful little tradition they have. The waitresses wear their, their Welch little costumes and the dining room, you look out over the Waterton Lake and then they come out and it's, it's a pretty fancy ordeal. They've got very nice, a very nice tea set they give you to dine with. They come out with a presentation of little sandwiches and little pastries to eat. And then one of the really nice things about it was that there is a there's live piano music they they pay a piano player to be here for the four hours of tea time and just oh it just really did a lot to make it a special experience there's fresh flowers on the table and just a special little treat a nice little break from we, we're saying this is our reward for hiking 13 miles yesterday but a nice little break from from doing all the outdoorsy things and just to get a little bit of the views of the lake and a nice little sophisticated experience what do you read it Oh, I give this a 10 for sure. I, I'm already thinking, I'm, I'm like, I need to bring my daughter back here. She would love this. Okay, the next thing to do in Waterton is Red Rock Parkway. So this is about a 20 minute drive up the canyon and you can park here. You might be able to see the parking lot back there. And then you can walk along the river. There's actually two branches of the river. You can go up a little Red Rock section and then you can go on another trail that's about 1.2 miles round trip to a waterfall called Blackiston Falls. So this gives me a chance to talk about three things real quickly about Waterton and glaciers. So the first thing is, Waterton is not on par with Glacier National Park in terms of scenery and beauty. One of the kind of the almost frustrating things about Waterton is that it sits at the mouth of that beautiful valley, but then you can't really get into the mountains very easily. So you're always kind of looking at that valley, wanting to get more deeper into the mountains like you can with Glacier National Park. But unless you're gonna do some backcountry hiking, it's really hard to do that. Now we are gonna do a boat ride a little bit later, so that'll kind of give us a chance to get into some of those mountains with some different views. But that's kind of the first thing. It's just not on par with Glacier in terms of scenery. The second thing is that you might be able to notice there are a lot of dead trees here. This area was hammered by a fire in the year 2017. And I mean hammered, like the whole place is just burnt trees everywhere. Now that's part of nature. And so like, it's kind of cool that we get to witness a little bit of that natural process. I mean, we saw some little baby pine trees growing up at the base of these trees here, but, but it does affect the scenery of course. And so it's not as forested, it's not as nice as if there was a living forest here. And then the third thing is, this area actually is really good for wildlife. Now, I had heard that this was a really great place to see wildlife and that this parkway in particular was a good place to see bears. And right when we drove in, we saw a grizzly bear on the side of the road. I mean, that almost makes the entire trip worth it for me because for my memory, this is only about the second grizzly bear I can ever remember seeing in the wild. We've seen a bunch of grizzly bears at grizzly bear parks this year, but to see it in the wild, of course, is really cool. And it was just right off to the side of the road. I mean, wow, that was really, really special. So that is one reason, a big reason, to come to Waterton. Now, next thing to do is to eat at the Pizza of Waterton. Now, something that surprised me about this casual dining restaurant is that the pizza isn't the superstar. For breakfast, it's their blueberry crumble waffle. And for dinner, it's their major nachos. <laughs> I've been, this, this whole trip, I really like Mexican food and 
in Utah, there's actually a large Latin population. We get really good Mexican food there. When we went to this pizza of Waterton tonight, I thought, what are we doing going in Canada to buy pizza? And then we even went from pizza to nachos. And it was amazing. I totally give this place a 10. It was so good. Okay, the next thing to do in Waterton is a scenic cruise. So we went on the Miss Waterton right there on a scenic cruise down Waterton Lake. So there's actually upper, middle, and lower Waterton Lakes. And uh, I think we're on the upper Waterton Lake, actually. And that's the one that you see right there from the hotel, right when you enter the valley. It goes down through this beautiful valley here in Waterton National Park. So for the scenic cruises, they don't take reservations. It costs $60 per person. We thought that was maybe not quite worth the cost, actually. Uh, it was a very nice cruise, and I liked that the boat was was larger than the boats that are in Glacier National Park. I thought the ride was nicer, actually, and it was longer, went faster. Um, even so, we thought maybe a little expensive for that, for what you get. Now, we did the six o'clock one, which is called the scenic, or sorry, the wildlife cruise. And so, because it's kind of dusk time of the day, you're supposed to hopefully see wildlife that come, come out and uh, come around the lake, wildlife like moose or bears, things like that. We ended up seeing one deer, so we kind of got shut out. He said that they hadn't seen much wildlife all day today. And, you know, that's that happens with nature, of course. So, again, we actually enjoyed the boat ride, and, and the narrator was very good. He was extremely knowledgeable and taught us a ton about this national park that we didn't know. One thing I learned is that Canada had prohibition as well. In all my time of teaching about prohibition in America, I never realized that Canada had prohibition as well, so it's kind of funny. But talked about, you know, the history of the park and Waterton and all that. Anyway, uh, nice still. It was a nice little boat ride and something you can do when you visit Waterton. Okay, the next thing to do in Waterton is to stay at the Prince of Wales Hotel. I mean, wow, this thing is amazing. Now, Cheryl and I spent the last week in Glacier National Park staying at different lodges along the way. This one's the coolest. This is really, really cool. It's perched up on this hill with the most amazing views of the valley below and the, the river, Waterton Lake here. Um, I could only really compare this maybe to the Grand Canyon North Rim Lodge or maybe Jackson Lake, uh, Jackson Lodge, Jackson Hole with its view of the Tetons. What's so cool is they have these big windows when you walk in that's just framing in that view and look at how cool it looks just perched up there on that hill with the lights on so we're staying here tonight now if you're not staying here you should definitely just stop in and visit now we covered tea time earlier you can go do tea time there you can go eat dinner there even if you're not going to do any of that just go check it out it is really cool you want to walk in that lobby and just kind of soak in that view you can walk around it a little bit it is kind of situated as the best viewpoint in the park. Okay, Cheryl and I have spent the day here in Waterton Lakes National Park in Canada. And you know what? This is a really cool place. It's not Glacier National Park. It's actually very different. The mountain scenery that you see is not comparable. Well, really not comparable at all, I would say, to Glacier. Because with Glacier, you're really getting into the mountains and into the valleys, even on the drives, let alone on the hikes here. The best mountains you see are actually in Glacier National Park across the border. You can actually see into the U.S. from from here that the river crosses over into the U.S. So, so it's not necessarily for the national park feel. In fact, this doesn't feel like a national park at all. It's a little kind of a resort town called Waterton, which is super cute to walk around. And we've seen a lot of families here, just people out biking, people kayaking and paddle boarding on the, the lake here. You've got these scenic boat cruises that are going all day long. Um, then again, there's that street where it's blocked off to traffic so you can just walk down and shop, walk along the riverfront. Um, it's, it's different than the normal national park experience that we're used to, but that doesn't mean it's bad. And we did see some bears. We got the bonus of seeing bears. We saw as many bears here as we saw in Glacier National Park. So that's super cool. Um, you know, again, it's just a slightly different experience. So think about kind of what you want out of your experience. But we feel like this is really a nice place for families or just for somebody who wants to get away from it all. One of the really nice things about this is you don't have to drive very far once you're here. The park is small and the center part of the park is really small. Like you're not going on these drives all over the place like you might be in some of these big national parks. 
it's just right here. You get to enjoy kind of that atmosphere of people milling around the town. So our recommendation is consider this if you're visiting Glacier National Park to hop over the border about an hour and a half away into Canada and come for a slightly different experience in a pretty fun, charming little place.